Hi, my name is Deborah Shemesh, and I'm a Chopra Center University Primordial Sound Meditation Instructor, as well as the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga Instructor. I'm on the Vedic path, but currently I'm healing from my third hip revision and just uh, becoming ambulatory as we speak. Yesterday, when I opened up my email, before meditation, of course, um, I noticed the little CCU invitation as a teacher to share our process of uh, teaching to the masses by submitting a three to five minute video. I was so excited when I opened up the email and I could feel this surge of energy just pulsating through all each and every cell within my body. And again, coming from the the movie business uh, as part of my, my background, each and every cell in my body began to dance and I realized that doing videos and uh, the entertainment industry in all its uh, forms and processes is part of my dharma. And so when I went into my morning meditation asking myself, who am I? And what do I want and how can I serve? I'll tell you, just being able to submit a video for consideration is a great, great honor. I'm so happy to uh, be able to share my practices with people here in Sonoma County. I teach children as young as four years old their primordial sound meditation. And I also lead yoga classes for children teenagers as well as children as old as uh, 98, 99 years old. I received my first certification in 2008 as a yoga instructor and as a late stage cancer patient I had been practicing yoga and meditation and weaving it into my uh, western medical formula for decades, but having the Chopra Center University certification backup really helped enhance my business, changed my vocabulary, and brought incredible insight and meaning to the purpose and uh, quality of my classes. It kind of reminds me of the story of the Wizard of Oz. You know, people always ask me, especially doctors, how did you heal? How have you healed yourself from stage four cancer? How is it that you are able to continue with higher education and lead others into the healing process? And it reminds me of Dorothy and the lion and, and the tin man going on the yellow brick road looking uh, to see... The, the wizard as they're on the journey, destiny unknown, of course. Um, well, no, actually the destiny is known, but the journey is uncertain, just like having late stage cancer. We're off, each of us, to seek and find the same thing, and that is to find our spirit self so that we could have a quality of life. And I truly believe that when we have a quality of life, we can enhance the probability of any, any prognoses that we may receive from any doctors. So with that, I would just like to let you know that the Chopra Center has uh, provided me a platform so I can dive into wider water, so to speak. They continue to support me through marketing campaigns, interviews on the telephone. I've been featured in a newsletter and have won one of the most recognized uh, teacher awards uh, that was inclusive of over a thousand teachers worldwide. So having that added to my um, lapel of honors really brought me great, great joy and desire to continue on my mission and share my vision with um, more and more people. So the only thing I would like to leave you with is that um, you too can heal your body. Always remember your prognoses and believe that, but know that you are, as David Simon taught me, more than just the prognoses. You are beyond the prognoses and no one knows, only you know. And until we get that answer, answered. Have a good time in life. Enjoy. Be happy. 
and share your many successes as well. Help others to achieve the successes in their own life. With this, let's do a nice, full, ex extended body lengthening stretch. Beautiful. Bring your hands down to your heart center. And always with an attitude of gratitude as Claire teaches. Bring your focus inward. Take a full deep breath in. Inhaling through your nostrils. Count to four. Pause and feel that vibrant sensation. And let it go. I hope you join us at Chopra University and become a teacher and share your gifts as well. Namaste. Satnam.